Jesus is the sweetest name I know, and he's just the same as his holy name. That's the reason why I love him so. sweetest name I know. It is Sunday, September the 20th, 2020, and it's 12.32 p.m. Central Standard Time. Before I start reading John chapter 17, I want to uh, flip up here real quick and show you all what's on the, the TV here. That is... Uh, Tropical Storm Beta, and my favorite storm catcher, Reed Timmer, up there in the top. Well, I guess the, the TV, you know, I don't know. They've even turned Tony the Tiger into a demon. But, um, anyway. They, anyway. So, Reed Timmer's fixing to come on with the live stream talking about the Tropical Storm Beta that's going to come and hit the Texas coast. I, I grew up on the Texas coast. But anyway, first, the Lord's Prayer. Then, we're going to read uh, John chapter 17. I'm going to finish reading the entire book of John today before I go swimming. Because after I swim, I can't see um because I don't have any goggles. Oh, before the Lord's Prayer, and, well, actually, during the Lord's Prayer, we're going to remember this gentleman, Kelly Garvey, the father of Tyler, who works here at uh, Lajitas Golf Resort in Lajitas, Texas. This gentleman has COVID-19, and he had a stroke, and he's in the hospital in Phoenix, Arizona, and I asked the Lord to provide, to give us a mighty miracle healing for this gentleman because his son asked me to pray for his father and I pray for his father in Jesus name now the Lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. And Father, forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are indebted to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. And, well, Lord, you know, um, we, we pray to the Father in Jesus' name. But Jesus is God. People, let's see what Reed Timmer's saying real quick. He's showing. And in fact, it's even been peeling off little blobs of connections. This sucker's going to hit. Here's one of those uh, uh, convergence bands located east of the uh, uh, cyclone, which uh, appears to be getting a little better organized uh, this morning as there is a reduction of that westerly wind shear that has been uh, westerly at about 20 knots in the storm road. If That's you... what's been giving this uh, system a tilt from the low level. Yeah. Of the, uh, if you've never heard of Reed Timmer, he is a storm chaser, and I would say that he is the best meteorologist storm chaser person I've ever come across. I am fascinated with the weather. Um, birds. Well, okay. First Jesus. Then the wet, then birds and the weather. Or weather and the birds. And birds. Um, I am fascinated with these things. So, I'm watching this tropical storm beta very closely. I think it's incredible that on uh, September the 20th, 
we've already uh, surpassed all of the letters of the alphabet, and we're already on the second letter of the Greek alphabet in naming storms. I believe that, that Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, and that he is coming very soon. Hallelujah. John chapter 17. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know, that they, that, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the work. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine, th thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I come out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. You see, this is key. And also, another thing that the Holy Spirit has been giving me recently is like this verse 8. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have, they have received them, and have, have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. Okay. And we have people out here in the world today that say, Jesus can't come until the gospel is preached around the world. You know what? When Jesus, the gospel was preached to the world then, okay? These people went out to the, to the entire world then. And I don't know that any, any Americans, uh, maybe a few of the Puritans, when they settled here, um, they, they, they taught Christianity to the Native Americans, but um, I don't, I know very, I, I know of very few Native American Indians who um, are Christians. They still do their um, satanic rituals to pray to the sun and the moon and the stars and all those kind of things. I believe that the Holy Spirit is going to come down upon them and they're all going to bow their knee to Jesus just like everybody else is. But I don't believe that any of them tra tra um, converted to Christianity. I don't believe that the, that the Americans who came here, except for a very few, I think um, uh, Squanto, because he, he went over to, he was here and then he went over to Europe and then he came back. I believe that he became a Christian. But I, I just don't believe that uh, the Puritans came over here and converted anybody to Christianity. And in fact, I believe that, that, that when our nation's capital was founded, that it was, that, that well, when you look at it, go to dcstreetsorcery.com and see what you find. Our nation's capital is basically a satanic ritual. Okay? You need to protect yourself from that. I wouldn't go there. I, I moved up there, and I, and I tell you, I think, I think the good Lord, the, the good Lord made, made the move when, when, when I went up there to get me the heck out of there. That area, that whole northern Virginia, Washington, D.C., and that, uh, that Maryland area is satanic. Big time. Okay. Verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, which, which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, 
I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take, take them out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. As for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have, I have given them, that they, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast, lo and, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me there where I am, that they may behold, behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath known, hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these, these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and I will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Wow. Jesus is coming. Be ready 